Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Jesse and Angela Love, Love Show. Show. How y'all guys doing? We're the Avatars wannabe. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say question what you think we are. <laughs> See, we got it all. Yes, we have. <laughs> Almost, anyway. Almost, yes, yes. Yes. It, it took us a while to get our makeup on, but it was it was a challenge. Yeah. It was it was fun. It was actually fun because we, you know, didn't ask for much help. We just mm -hmm. uh, took the pictures off the internet and yep. used that, and here we are. Doesn't she look good? Doesn't <laughs> he look great? I mean, it's fantastic how we done this. So yeah. Hope y'all guys enjoy this. How you enjoyed the movie? Oh, it was awesome. I, I cried several times, even though I watched it three or four times. It was actually, actually it was great. It was really a great movie, and yeah. I hoped everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought everybody enjoyed it, because it said that at one time they made up to, I mean, 85, 85, excuse me, billion dollars. I was thinking, million? No, billion. Wow. So what, what does that tell you? So many people went to see it. Mm -hmm. And maybe perhaps so many people want to be like those people. Right. Oh, you know, the the atmosphere was so peaceful. It was so serene that to the point where you want the world that they have into the world that you have here. Right. And, you know, you, you want it, you feel it, you, you can taste it. Right. And and they they were in harmony, you know, they, yes they had the wars. They just had like, the wars, you know, yeah. like any any place else but anybody that wants something from right. you. They always want something. It was like a Native American like exactly. view or Can Canadian uh, uh, Indians or whatever. But it was a Native American like uh, setting to me right. when it comes to uh, you know, the village, the place where they were exactly. staying, their the way they dressed and exactly. everything else exactly and uh it was a mixture you can see because you know you didn't only see uh the the bodies of from native american but you also so also saw blacks african descendants and stuff like exactly. that in there exactly. so it was a big time mi mixture to me but but if we look at it we would think that we were looking at a native american right. movie right uh, native americans fighting for their, their property right. and things that they wanted in that 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 land, Pandora. Right. Oh, you know the director was James Cameron. Yeah. And he produced it. He read it. He written it, and uh, he had some other people to help write it too as well. And he also directed it. Yeah, he directed and everything. <laughs> so. uh, he's a Canadian, by the way. So he's not able to vote in yeah, our Yeah, that's country. what he mentioned but too. The thing of it is that he did get a lot of money, not just in our United States, but all over the world. Yeah. So, so. It, it's priced as that it, their budget was two hundred two hundred and thirty seven million dollars. Wow. They grossed and I did predict it that it was close to three point I would say a three trillion, but it was almost three trillion. It was it's probably that now, but it was is the gross revenue is two trillion. Trillion, I mean. Seven hundred and twenty-four million four hundred and sixty thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars money gross unbelievable so what else did you know when you were watching the movie and the things that I've seen of course I used to be a US Marine but I would have this is only one time I would have I don't know if I would have been a good Marine that time because of the situation yeah. They uh, always tell you what to do, but then you know, it's a, you know, you have a cross. I had a barrier. I had a line that I wouldn't cross even in the Marine Corps. Yeah, I was I was looking at how how they took the if you look at the scene and everything, it was like a fantasy. Here you are, not a, you know, you're caught quadriplegic, or you might be quadriplegic, where you're not able to move your limbs. You know, um, if you quadriplegic, that means you can't move nothing but your neck. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. the thing is, is that here they are, they could be able to lay down in this, this chamber, go to sleep, and allow their, their brain waves to activate this, That's a good one. you know, yeah. this new body. And here you are, it's like you transform your, your mind and your spirit into this body. Right. 
to, so that you can be able to mingle with the other tribes of, in the Avatar. Right. And even the language. Yes, even the language. Even you pick up the language, or I didn't understand why he understood her. her what's her name? Um, uh, not, 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 Something like that. We're saying around. But um, I think I'm very close. But anyway, um, well, they well they had someone there already there that I think one of the scientists was going out there. Right, right. So she they, was taught, already, they were already teaching. Right. She was. Them. She had already opened up a school there, so she was help transferring some of the um, the the American translating translation yeah. and and their culture into their culture right but see the that thing sounds familiar there yes I can and, tell you about that Go ahead. but the thing is is that this is you know way too familiar in today's culture right. or, you know back in the day and here we are now way doing too the same familiar. thing here we are we're trying to transfer what we're learning what we have here to put into your country or in your your tribe to try to transform you to something that you would ha you have already built you know your own tr you know culture your own right. tribe and right. and here you are trying to learn somebody else because they want something of yours right it's a deception most of the time right. i remember the australians because I, I believe my granddaddy he's supposed to be either the the white side of us is supposed to be on the uh, uh, from Australia. They okay. used to say Austrias. I didn't know what they were saying when I was real small until I learned how to read. I said, oh, they mean Australians. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, oh, gotcha. Oh, my God. Who learned, taught them how to pronounce that word? But anyway, to make a long story short, the uh, Aboriginals is there. Right. And my mother, she looks like an Ab Aboriginal. If you look at an Aboriginal in Australia, my mother favorites because she has the high cheek. I mean the uh, broad um, uh, eyebrows, eyebrows and everything. I'm, I mean identical. So to make a long story short, well, you know the history about the uh, Aboriginals there in Australia. They try to teach them, mm -hmm. and you know, and things happen, and they weren't treated right, and everything else. So as well as in the United States, when you try to train, t teach them, and try to call themselves um, not only uh, making them more civilized. Right. It's not necessarily true you make people more civilized. You make them in, in your culture, but you're not saying them. You, you can't make them more civilized. They were very much civilized. Native Americans were very much civilized. Right, very much. Very, very much. You mean the ones that they were dealing with was not that much civilized. Right. They were like wild asses. Their minds were crazy. They were wanted things that weren't theirs. And, and I can give, go down the whole list about, what, about that situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you so, know... It's, it's sad because a lot of the tribes of different Indian cultures have died out. Oh, so um, many. It's, it's, it's grossed up to 200 something million people were slaughtered. Um, it was unbelievable because That's a um, lot about five, six years ago, we happened to went into a, a shop up in Jacksonville and they actually had a shop where they had nothing but Native Americans, um, right. all kind of, you know, pictures and flags and posters and all, right. everything they had. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. When we went up there last year, it was no longer there, unfortunately. Um, but on the map itself of the United States, they had all different cultures or of different tribe, tribe names. Different tribe names. And that had started. It was tons uh, of I mean, it was so many of them. It was like, where do we fit in? You know, because it was so many of the, right. of the tribes. That actually was in you know you know cover the United States, so it just lets you see that you know we pretty much like invaded their territory and slaughtered all the buffalo, both buffalo, most of the buffalo. Yeah. That was yeah. their livelihood. They they took every piece and they respected just like in Avatar when they prayed over. I don't know what what other culture he was thinking about, but I know one thing, it was Native American culture exactly. that I've seen. Exactly. And then where they pray over the animals and everything else. They exactly. had total respect on the wolves. They call them what type of wolves? Um, what they, they call they them? The, um, they call them um, the name of the wolves? Viper wolves. Yes. Viper Vi wolves. Viper wolves. 